Uh, ladies and gentlemen and children of all ages, my name is The Inspector, you're about to be mind blown, and we're here to talk about crypto games that you can play on your phone and earn real world money. So but Inspector, crypto is crashing and you're talking about games? Yes, I, I, I know it's crashing. Someone has to take people's minds off of the crash. Yes, it is crashing. Has it been crashing before? Yes, it did. Did it recover? Yes, it did. Is it gonna recover this time? Well, I hope so, because if it doesn't, I'll be homeless. Everything I have is in crypto. <laughs> but I'm not worried. Do I look worried? I'm not worried. All right, so let's start the video like this. There's a card game that I'm playing right now to see how much money I can earn after 24 hours straight of playing the game. So 24 hours in total of playing. The game is called Gods Unchained and it's not available for phones, but it is available for web. Now, is there a phone alternative for Gods Unchained? <laughs> well, good that you're asking, because there is. A lot of people know about this, but if you've not been following the channel, if you're new to crypto gaming, you've never heard about it. It's called Splinterlands. So the Gods Unchained video will be available on this Sunday, but Splinterlands you can play on your phone, which is pretty damn good. And you can earn for free in those games. So in my opinion, card games are the easiest to recreate when it comes to crypto games. It, it's the easiest format to put NFTs on because it just makes sense. You already have the cards, you already have those NFT looking things, <laughs> which are the cards that you play with. Now you just need to NFTs, NFTs, Ties, make them into NFTs, that's the word. Now, of course, not all cards are NFTs, and in order to earn money, you actually need to win games. So you need to learn the rules of the game, you need to learn the, the rules of the card game and beat your opponents in order to earn money in those trading card crypto games. Now, take the inspector hat off, put the other one on, and since I've talked about Splinterlands a bunch of times already, I'm not gonna do a deep dive today, but in honor of me doing the Gods Unchained video, I thought it's just appropriate to talk at about at least one trading card game in this video. So with that being said, here's a quick word from our sponsor, Legendary Heroes Unchained, which is an RPG hero collector, and they do something very, very interesting on their Discord server. So their game is going to come out for browsers this year, and hopefully next year it's going to come out for mobile clients as well, so you can play it on your phone too. That would be pretty sweet. So a little more about the game now. So basically you own heroes that you collect, you own the armies that you raise and you own the land you battle for. Which is something that I actually expect to be at the norm for a crypto game. So they got this basis covered. Now this game is made or is being made by Network Studios and they already have experience in creating games like this. They created a free-to-play title, Legendary Game of Heroes. They recently raised $46 million in funding and their dev team has an average experience of 15 years. And so they worked at companies like Electronic Arts, Walt Disney Studios, Marvel Animation, Zynga, Activision. Basically, in short, these guys know how to create a nice, playable video game. The pre-sale starts in Q1 of next year, along with the early access to the game. Now, if you want to join the pre-sale, or really any of their things, what you need to do is join their Discord, it's in the link in the description down below, and they have this dungeon crawler minigame on their Discord, so you play that, you earn points, and you earn basically your spot inside of their game, which is pretty damn cool, that's, that's why I said in the beginning they do something very very cool on their Discord server, so all the links in the description down below, experience team joining forces with NFTs and blockchain. Hopefully this turns out into something amazing. Thank you for sponsoring this video. All the giveaways I do, it's from the sponsor money, so I'm very thankful every time I do have a sponsor. With that being said, moving on to the game number two, Smash Stars, available for web and for mobile phones. Works on Immutable X, which is a layer two solution for Ethereum, and it's a brawler slash PvP shooter. Currently in the alpha stages, the battle takes place in closed arenas, platforms and hazards. Hiding is not an option, as they do have a sudden death mechanic. So in the course of a match, you must do anything in your power to smash your opponent's head, so you can use weaponry, collisions, or you can gently nudge them toward a career-ending hazard. When health points run out, it's game over. So yes, while it is in the alpha stages, a playable demo already exists for you to try. The design reminds me of Swords and Sandals, I don't know if you guys played that game, it, it is an indie game and this also does look like an indie game, it's definitely not AAA quality, but keep in mind it is available for mobile phones, 
and you can earn money while playing it. It is free to play, it is play to own. So basically the vehicles you see in this game are NFTs which are tradable, buyable and sellable on the marketplace. That being said, moving on to game number three, which is a game that surprised me that it made the list. It made the list of mobile games. I thought it's only a PC game, but apparently not. As on PlayToEarnGames.net, it does say that it will be available for phones as well. I'm talking about Undead Blocks. Now, Undead Blocks is a game I'm really excited about. And if you want to see me do a deep dive on Undead Blocks, well, I already have. There's a video right here in the corner and you can watch it after you're done watching this one. Undead Blocks is a zombie shooter and we call it Kill to Earn, where the weapons you have are NFTs and as you kill zombies, you earn crypto as you achieve things there's achievements to get in the game for example uh, 20 shotgun kills in 20 different games you're gonna get some crypto so that's their play to earn model and they also have a stable coin which you earn in the game so they have two coins they work on a dual economy tokenomic system whatever you want to call it much like axe infinity and other games as well a lot of games do this but the difference is, this game doesn't have two tokens which go up and down in value, they have one which goes up and down in value, which is their governance coin, and then they have their stable coin in which you get paid when playing the game. You'll be able to play with your friends, and it really reminds me of Left 4 Dead. It does have the Left 4 Dead vibe, and the gameplay just looks really good. So again, if you do want to see me do a deep dive, feel free to check out the link in the description, or you can just click on top up here after you're done watching this video, and check out my full review of Undead Blocks, but back then I didn't know that it was gonna be available for phones as well, so that is amazing, isn't it? Anyway, moving on to game number four. While not a triple A title, and <laughs> well, phone games can they even be triple A titles? This game is called Meta Run, and it's one of those subway surfer games where you you see a top-down perspective and you can run. Well, it runs automatically, and you can go left or right, up or down to avoid obstacles so this is the crypto equivalent to that it is built on the unreal engine 5 free to play nft support and play to earn they classify it as an action pvp sports game with 45 unique characters all nfts while the internal economy runs on the native token m run they also have the virtual currency opal which allows players to earn inside of the game and also purchase items characters and skins as nfts so i'm always looking for games which are free to play and still allow you to earn and it does state that this game is free to play and allows you to earn so those are the games you can like try download on your phone play a few games see if you like it or not either delete it or keep playing it and that's the point you don't have to invest your money at all before talking about the fifth game i want to give a huge shout out to mirror 4 which is available for phones it's an mmo rpg game that you can play on PC or phones and you can earn in it. Uh, a lot of people don't like it because it has a lot of bots and that is only because of the way earning inside of the game works. But for me personally, it's a very fun game. So huge shout out to Mir 4, uh, special mention. I do talk about Mir 4 from time to time. So there you go. If you haven't heard about it, try Mir 4. You won't regret it if you like those types of games. Now, with that being said, moving on to game number five. Decaron G is a game that works on Wii Mix available for phones and PC. An action-adventure MMORPG which is currently live and has a social score of almost 2000. So while it does have NFT support and while it is play to earn, this game is not free to play and this is the only one on the list which is not free to play. So it works very similarly to Mir 4 where you in game you get these crystals which are exchanged for something called Encar. Encar is a game currency or a utility coin in Decoron G used for trading for Wemix credits. Now Wemix credits you can then transfer into Wemix coin and then the Wemix coin you can transfer into whatever you want USDT, USDC, BUSD or you can just transfer it to your credit card and spend it. There's more uses for their utility coin, but we're not gonna get into that at this point in the video. They're really trying to build a universe here with a great backstory, and really it does have the MMORPG vibes it needs to have in order to be played. Happening on a different planet, which is slightly larger than Earth and has a 24-hour day, and has an orbit of 40 days. Then they have the whole lore and backstory and the destruction of Trieste. Now, I don't know if this 
is the real life Trieste in Italy or an imaginary one on one of their sci-fi new worlds that look like Earth but aren't Earth. Either way, they're working on the lore and this is something you want to see in an MMORPG. So here's the basic guide. You can create an account just like normal. You can sign in with Apple, Google, Facebook. You create your character right here. Classic normal MMORPG things. You create your class. Um, you, you build your character the way you want it to look. And so this is definitely a game I do want to try, maybe even for the 24-hour series after Gods Unchained. That could be really cool to see how much money I can earn in the game and where you actually need to invest. For this game in particular, I saw a new MMORPG that I haven't seen before. It had a high social score, and that is something people love to see. And so I can resist not to feature it, at least on the number 5 spot. That being said, thank you for watching, Inspector out.